Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good to all my friends who are watching this video happy new year and let's celebrate 3 lakh subscribers of affairs cloud with all your support with all the hard work and all the students who have been staying and watching with us all our videos for a very long time and it's a big achievement for all of us together all right so friends with the new year with 2023 let's start preparing in a much better way we will have to work very hard and i want all my students who are watching this video to get a job in the respective domain that they are studying for so Let's start friends with the revision post. First, Fisheries Ministry has announced National Gopal Ratna Award for 2022. Tamil writer Imayam has selected for the Kuempu National Award. This is an important current affair, so mark this. Avni Lakhera received Para Sports Person of the Year 2022. Very important question will be asked to you that who received the Para Sport Person of the Year Award for the year 2022? She is Avni Lakhira. Then, Panchayati Raj Ministry won gold in the e-governance category. Purnima Devi Burman announced has been honored with the Champions of the Earth Award. This is for keeping our earth clean, alright, safe and then working towards the sustainable development goals, alright. So, remember, who has been honored with the Champions of the Earth Award? Purnima Devi Burmanji. Important. <coughs> Next, Ministry of Health has been awarded at the 41st IITF 2022. Then, Iranian film Nargesi has won the ICTF, ICFT UNESCO Gandhi Medal at IFFI 53. What is IFFI International Film Festival of India? Where was this held? In Goa. Then next thing, if we are talking about UNESCO, where is the headquarter of UNESCO? It is in Paris. And if we know, in Paris only the Olympic Games for the year 2024 will be held. Then Shilpi Guru and National Awards for the Handicraft has been given recently. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangralya has won the UNESCO Award. Alright, important mark this also. Then next is for FIDE World Rapid and Blitz Championship for 2022. Here Magnus Carlsen who is the world's number one chess player has secured the gold position in men's category. And Tan Zongi has won the gold in the 
women's category and here in this particular list remember india savita shri as you can see her in the picture has won the bronze medal that is she is on the third position and on the first position here is tang zongi all right next also we remember for magnus carlson this was the fourth rapid world championship next next is MEITY that is your Ministry of Electronics Information and Technology Minister Ashwini Vaishnav has launched G20 DIA and Stay Safe online campaign from New Delhi first of all what is this full form of DIA this is your Digital Innovation Alliance that means in order to promote digitization in order to bring up more technologies in order to bring more and more updated services to help the grow economy this DIA was launched by Ashwini Vaishnav ji all right and remember he they also launched stay safe online campaign this stay safe online campaign is basically for cyber crimes all those cyber attacks cyber crimes that are related to your internet that means with the help of internet with the help of digitization with the help of technology when a scammer approaches you and scams you with money or data that is known as a cyber crime so in order to safeguard various companies in order to safeguard various individuals from these cyber crimes this stay safe online campaign was also launched during this particular g20 meet next next we know nilgiri tar nilgiri tar is the state animal it is the state animal of tamil nadu next thing remember as you can see from the picture this is similar to type of a goat all right what is the name nilgiri tar so first question that becomes from this news is that which is the state animal of tamil nadu it will be your nilgiri tar all right also remember tamil nadu government has recently implemented india's first project to conserve the nilgiri tar highly important all right it is in tamil nadu if we talk about tamil nadu here fight chess 44th edition of the fight chess olympiad was held here only in chennai tamil nadu first ambulance for street animals was launched here only if you remember breakfast scheme for the school going students uh, school going children for the pre primary class was also launched by the chief minister mk stalin moving on next is tamil nadu fd and HCL Foundation has joined hands for Derby's free Gulf of Mannar in order to clean Gulf of Mannar in order to remove waste such as your nets fishing nets plastics waste paper waste plastic or any waste material from the Gulf of Mannar this particular two organization tamil nadu fd and hcl foundation has joined hands to clean or to make gulf of mannar derbys free <coughs> next next is iit rudki and aims delhi has developed swasthya garb a mobile application for the pregnant women first thing that you need to remember what is the name of the mobile application that was launched specifically for pregnant women the name of the application is swasth garb now this swasth garb was launched by the joint venture or was joined by which two organizations together that is iit roorkee and aims delhi these two organizations came together to develop this swasth garb now this swasth garb how this will be helping women is that they will be keeping them updated about various processes during the pregnancy they will be keeping updated on the various facts that is your frequently asked questions they will be telling about various complications that can come during pregnancies all right they will be able to easy this application will be able to help those women easily by providing them doctors easily on the application itself these doctors will be able to advise them that what they have to do during certain conditions also this particular application will help the family find a hospital nearby easily when use this particular application all right all the hospitals doctors that are clinics nearby in that particular location of the 
patient or the pregnant women if she is having any complicancy or if she is in pain or if she needs a doctor urgently then this particular mobile app that is swasthagar will be able to help her easily all right and who developed this iit rudki and aims delhi next indian oil has recently signed a memorandum of understanding with the central tb division to undertake tb elimination project in uttar pradesh and chatisgarh first of all remember what is the target of india to eliminate tuberculosis from india so the targeted year is 2025 all right tb tb is caused due to or basically tb is what tb is a lung infection all right it infects your lungs a person coughs a lot during the tb tb is your tuberculosis all right it is a communicable disease and now recently it was indian oil that has signed a memorandum of understanding with the central tb division and the reason for this was that they will be taking tb elimination project in two states and those states are very important that you have to remember uttar pradesh and chatisgarh now the question can be asked is that recently it was indian oil and central tb division they were working to eliminate tb from which two states of india and those states are uttar pradesh and chatisgarh the name of these two states are really important friends all right apart from this the name of organization that is indian oil and central tb division next next is good governance day national good governance day is observed on 25th of december it is observed on the birth anniversary of our former prime minister atal bihari vajpayee ji all right on his birthday we observe this day <coughs> then recently a report was released by cag that is comptroller and auditor general of india and the report stated that the botanical gardens has failed to conserve the threatened plant despite of investment of 48 crore rupees all right that means these botanical gardens were specified they were made so that the threatened plants that are on that particular area should be conserved and there is no threat to them in future but a reverse uh, the reverse happened that these botanical plant uh, gardens were not able to conserve those particular threatened species of plants and even we invested around 48 crore rupees in this particular botanical garden all the attempts all the processes that we did all the uh, attempts were basically failed to conserve those threatened plants next next is your international day of epidemic preparedness that is observed on 27th of december apart from this remember on 26th of november what do we observe on 26th of november it is your national constitution day and what do we observe on 26th of january it is your republic day also remember our republic day that is in 2023 who will be our chief guest from which country he will be from egypt all right tell me the name in the comment section what will be the name of our chief guest who will be from egypt for the republic day 2023 next aims delhi campus declared tobacco free zone mark this also important which campus or what place has became the tobacco free zone in delhi it is your aims delhi then pradhan mantri koshal kaam karyakram has been renamed to pradhan mantri virasat ka samavardhan that is pm vikas scheme 8th india international science festival 2022 where this will be held this will be held in bhopal madhya pradesh 48th gst council this will be held in new delhi where is the museum for national museum for customs and gst it is in goa and in Mu uh, delhi itself if you remember there is a museum for former prime ministers then ministry of culture organized delhi international art festival hinduja group to invest 35000 crore rupees in maharashtra across 11 sectors pm modi inaugurated projects worth 6800 crore rupees in tripura and meghalaya india and sri lanka has launched a ferry service between kankeshthuri thrai or uh, kankeshthuri and pondicherry in jan 2023 also remember one week one lap this is a country wide campaign that was launched from january 
6 2023 and it is the campaign of csir that is your council of scientific and industrial research next idex has signed its 150th innovation contract with altair infrastructure private limited i repeat defense ministry's idx dio has signed their 150th innovation contract moving on GIXI. Remember, GIXI is the name of the India's first gas price index. I repeat, IGX, that is your Indian Gas Exchange, has launched India's first gas price index and this gas price index was known as GIXI. Next, Indian Navy has got their fifth Scorpion class submarine and it was named as INS Vajir. I repeat, what is the name of India's fifth scorpion class submarine it has been named as ins vajir highly important or vice versa the question can be asked that what is uh, ins vajir this is the fifth dash class submarine this is the fifth scorpion class submarine or it can be asked it is the dash scorpion class submarine it will be your fifth scorpion class submarine so that's all for the day for revision pens now it's time for our important current affairs of the day let's start first First is Prime Minister Narendra Modi has virtually inaugurated 7,600 crore rupees worth of railway projects in West Bengal. I repeat, recently Prime Minister Narendra Modi has virtually inaugurated, remember they, he virtually inaugurated pro railway projects. Railway projects worth 7,600 crore rupees and where were they inaugurated in? west bengal all right highly important also remember he flagged off the seventh vande bharat express from howrah to new jalpaiguri station and also i repeat he inaugurated the seventh vande bharat express from howrah to new jalpaiguri station also remember if we talk about west bengal who is our chief minister at west bengal she is mamta Banerjee. all right and there is a tiger reserve two tiger reserve that you can remember from west bengal they are buksa tiger reserve and your sundarban tiger reserve all right so this was your first news moving on to the second news next is art park iisc Art Park IISC has joined hands with Google to launch AI powered project Vani. What is AI artificial intelligence? I repeat, Art Park, that is your artificial intelligence and robotics technology park. I repeat, artificial intelligence and robotic technology park of IISC has recently joined hands with Google to launch project Vani. This project Vani will be launched Pan India Inclusive Language Data Initiative for various open sourcing data sets at Google for India 2022. Let me say it again. What is Vani? Vani is speech. All right. In Hindi, we uh, for language we say Vani. So consider it as that this project was launched. Project Vani that is a Pan India Inclusive Language Data Initiative for open sourcing data sets at Google for India 2022 event that will be held in New Delhi. If we talk about this project Vani, the aim here is to compile various data sets of transcripted text and spoken language from each district in India and are open sourced via Vani's website. They can be accessed through other platforms like Bhashini of Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology for advancing research and innovation. All right, and Vani joins the synthesizing speech in Indian languages that is S Y S P I N. All right, what is I spin? And remember another term that is re spin. What is S Y S P I N? S Y S P I N stands for here S Y S P I N stands for synthesizing speech in Indian languages, and re spin stands for recognizing speech in Indian languages all right so coming back remember we know that india is a language of multiple languages all right there are multiple dialects there are multiple languages in india so in order to study all those languages in order to study 
द टेक्स्ट ऑफ दोज पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेजेस आर डाटा सेट्स विल बी प्रोवाइडेड एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंसेस ऑल दोज डाटा सेट्स विल बी स्टडीड एंड पीपल कैन जस्ट गो एंड रीड द ट्रांसक्रिप्टेड वर्जन ऑफ दोज पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेजेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट वानी ऑल राइट हाउ दिस विल बी बेनिफिशियल टू अस इज बिकॉज विद दिस द लैंग्वेज वेरियर विल बी ब्रोकन एंड इफ अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इज डूइंग एनी काइंड ऑफ अ रिसर्च इन अ पर्टिकुलर लैंग्वेज देन ही विल बी एबल टू इजिली कॉम्युनिकेट टू द सम पर्सन डूइंग रिसर्च इन अ डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज ऑल राइट सो हेयर यू कैन सी आर्ट पार्क दैट इज आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस ए आई एंड रोबोटिक्स टेक्नोलॉजी पार्क दैट इज अ नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बैक बाय आई एस सी बैंगलोर हैज कोलेबरेटेड विद गूगल इनकॉर्पोरेशन टू लॉन्च प्रोजेक्ट वानी अ पैन इंडिया इंक्लूसिव लैंग्वेज डाटा इनिशिएटेड फॉर ओपन सोर्सिंग डाटा सेट्स एट गूगल फॉर इंडिया ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू दिस विल एम्पलीफाई गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया डिजिटल इंडिया एफर्ट्स बाय इंक्लूडिंग मोर डाइवर्स रीजनल एंड लोकल लैंग्वेजेस If we talk about Project Vani, this aims to compile comprehensive data sets of transcribed text and spoken languages from each district in India and are open sourced via Vani's website. Next, next, next. Government of India has recently approved Print and Digital Media Association. I repeat, Padma. What is Padma? Print. and digital media association as a self regulatory body for publishers of news and current affairs across india i repeat again government of india has approved print and digital media association that is padma as a self regulatory body for publishers of news and current affairs across india padma that is an organization with 47 digital news publishers will look at grievances related to digital media news content in its platform ministry of information and broadcasting initiated the approval through an official order on 2nd of december 2022 all right highly important also this will ensure that the member publishers have agreed to adhere to the provisions of the rules including furnishing the request information all right so padma will be now as a self regulatory body for the publishers next United Nations Security Council has adopted their first ever resolution on Myanmar demanding end to violence and release of political prisoners I repeat United Nations Security Council adopted their first resolution on Myanmar in 74 years to demand an end to violence and urge the military junta to release all political prisoners including their former leader Anuk San Suu Kyi Myanmar has been in crisis since the army seized the Suu Kyi's elected government on 1st of February 2021 detaining her and other officials in the 15 member United Nations Security Council for the Myanmar crisis China Russia and India denied the vote the remaining 12 members voted in their favor all right also if we talk about g20 who is having the presidency india who is the having the chairmanship of g united nation security council this time it is also with india only all right presidency for united nation security council is also with india for this year moving on next tb research funding transfer 2005 to 2021 funding for tb research and development hits a billion dollar worldwide in 2020 one recently a report was released by treatment action group that is tag and in this report it stated that the research and development for the tb has hit a highest funding ever in 2021 that was a billion dollars and we know tb we just discussed in the starting of this video that tb is your tuberculosis it affects your lung and it is a communicable disease also the target of india to eliminate tb will be 2020 5 also remember the various programs have been launched by the government of india to eliminate tb from the rural areas specifically because in rural areas as it is a communicable disease people tend to uh seclude that person who is suffering from tb and in that case the tb or the person can also become mentally ill all right so coming back according to this tag that is treatment action group the funding for the research and development of tb hits a billion dollar worldwide in 2022 <clears throat> stop tb partnership is a geneva switzerland based united nations host entity that aims to end disease by the year 
30. The report highlights that despite reaching the $1 billion mark in funding for tuberculosis research and development, it is a mere fraction of what needs to be done to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal for ending TB as a pandemic by 2030. Next, for banking and finance, Punjab and Sindh Bank has partnered with SBI Card to launch a co-branded credit card. I repeat, Punjab and Sindh Bank came together with SBI Card to launch a co-branded credit card. This marks the entry of PSB into credit cards as a new product segment under the bank's portfolio. So directly remember this news. Next, Asian Development Bank has granted $100 million to SFL for vehicle loans to women entrepreneurs. I repeat, Shiram Finance Limited has got $100 million funding loan of about 830 crore rupees All right, from Asian Development Bank that will be for providing and this will be basically a vehicle loan that will be helping women entrepreneurs. All right, highly important. This credit will be issued towards the purchase of new as well as used vehicles throughout India. All right, highly important. Mark this. Then if we talk about Sri Shidam Finance Limited, who is the chairman here? Jugal Kishore Mohapatra is the current chairman and the headquarter of Shidam Finance Limited. It is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. So remember, it was Asian Development Bank that is granted 830 crore rupees or 100 million dollar loan to the Asian developer to the uh, Shriram Finance Limited so that they can get vehicle loans for that can be a new as well as a second car for sex second hand car for the women entrepreneurs. Next, next is IDBI. That is your IDBI bank has recently signed an agreement to transfer scheme of IDBI mutual funds to LIC mutual funds. I repeat, IDBI, IDBI bank has signed a scheme transfer agreement that is a STA agreement with LIC mutual fund for the transfer of schemes of IDBI mutual funds to LIC mutual fund to comply with the regulations of 7B of Securities and Exchange Board of India. All right, highly important. Then apart from this, remember, following this proposed scheme acquisition transfer, the like-to-like -like schemes will be merged and the unique schemes of IDBI mutual fund will continue on a standalone basis with the acquiring entity. This merger is expected to be completed in this particular quarter. And if we talk about IDBI bank, managing director and chief executive officer will be Rakesh Sharma. This was established in 1964 and the headquarter of IDBI Bank is in Mumbai, Maharashtra. Next, Tata AIA Life introduced Emerging Opportunities Fund with ULI PS. I repeat, Tata AIA Life Insurance has established the Emerging Opportunity Fund with Unit Linked Insurance Plan that is your ULIP. I repeat, Tata AIA Life Insurance has established the Emerging Opportunity Fund with Unit Linked Insurance Plan which is able to invest in the mid-cap companies and rising market leaders with the potential to provide significant future growth. The application for the ULIP plans with the new fund offering window was open till 31st of December 2022. Here Tata AIA, uh, Tata AIA's ULIP offering like Fortune Pro Wealth Pro, Fortune Maxima and Wealth Maxima can be used to invest in the fund. Up to 30% of the fund's total assets may be allocated to equity and equity related investments that are not in the mid cap range. Next, next we are talking about awards and recognition. Bank of Baroda has won the EAG Laureate Award on financial security. I repeat. It was Bank of Baroda that is the second largest public sector bank in India after SBI has won the EAG Laureate Award in the International Olympiad of Finance Security that was held at Sochi, Russia on 10th of December. Important friends, take a note of this. Direct question will be asked that who has won the EAG Laureate Award in the International Olympiad of Finance Security? It will be a Bank of Baroda. All right, highly important. Then remember, India, India is one of the nine members of the Eurasian group 
on combating money laundering and terrorism that is eag that is a regional organization similar to that of fatf that is financial action task force and this fatf is basically an organization that is working towards terror financing the eag was established in 2004 and it is currently an associate member of the financial action task force who is the president of uh, financial action task force t raja kumar all right and he is the first singaporean to be appointed as the president of fatf here you can see fatf is a global anti money laundering and anti terrorist financing body moving on next idbi bank has reappointed suresh khana khatnahar as their deputy managing director for up another one year i repeat suresh Khatnahar has been recently reappointed as the deputy managing director for one year with effect from 15th of January 2023. All right. And remember, Sunesh Khatnahar started his banking career with Dina Bank and has handled all the HR related work at the centralized HR department of the bank. He has been associated and all with the IDBI bank with from 1997. All right. He has almost 37 years of experience in commercial banking, 25 of which has been spent with IDBI Bank itself. Next, next is Indian Army has appointed Lieutenant Governor Arvind Walia as their new engineer in chief. Take a note. I repeat, Indian Army has appointed Lieutenant General Arvind Walia as their new engineer in chief. General Arj uh, Lieutenant General Arvind Walia, he is a 1986 batch officer and an alumnus of the Indian Military Academy, Dehradun, and has been appointed as the next engineer in chief of the Indian Army. He succeeded Lieutenant General Harpal Singh, who is superintending on 31st of December 2022. All right, so remember, he will replace whom he will be replacing Lieutenant General Harpal Singh, and who is our new. Chief in uh, new engineer in chief, he will be Lieutenant General Arvind Waliaji. Next news Adani Group will acquire 27.26% equity stake for that was held by NDTV founders Roy for over 600 crore rupees. I repeat, Pranoy Roy and Radhika Roy, who are the founders of the news broadcaster, sold their 27.26% of the NDTV. Entire equity in the New Delhi television that is your NDTV to Adani. All right, highly important. And they will be selling this for around 6,000 crore rupees. All right, highly important. Mark this. Also, if you remember, Ravish Kumar, who was the presenter at NDTV, has also resigned after this particular news. Next, next is Pritzer winning Japanese architect. Arata Isozaki has recently passed away. I repeat, first of all, remember Pritzer Prize. This is given to an individual in the field of architecture. So, Pritzer winner, Japanese architect Arata Isozaki has recently passed away. As you can see him in the picture, he was a very famous architect who recently passed away. He was from Japan. He was born in 1931. He was from Japan. He was born in 1931. And he was a very famous architect and also a Pritzer Prize winner and he recently passed away. Next, also remember Prime Minister Narendra Modi's mother, Hira Ben, has also recently passed away at the age of 100 in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Then, next, historian Simon Sebag has discusses his new book, The World with author Manu S. Pillai. I repeat. Simon Sebag, a British historian, discussed his recent book, that is the book of family history, in an interview with an Indian historian, Manu S. Pillai. In this book, Simon Sebag has recently told or explored how people and families have played a role in the convergence and divergence in the world history. Alright, so coming back, the world of family history, this book has been authored by whom? By historian Simon Sebag. Next, 
नेक्स्ट इज असम कैबिनेट हैज ग्रांटेड इंडस्ट्री स्टेटस टू द टूरिज्म सेक्टर इन असम दैट मींस नाउ टूरिज्म सेक्टर विल बी कंसीडर्ड एज ए इंडस्ट्री ऑल राइट सो क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ड दैट विच स्टेट हैज रिसेंटली ग्रांटेड इंडस्ट्री स्टेटस टू द टूरिज्म सेक्टर इट विल बी योर असम गवर्नमेंट ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट द कैबिनेट ऑफ असम हेडेड बाय हिमंता बिस्व शर्मा हु इज द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ असम अप्रूव द प्रपोजल फॉर द ग्रांट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल स्टेटस टू द टूरिज्म सेक्टर इन असम highly important with industry status restaurants cafeterias health clubs spa and wellness centers among other are eligible for incentives under the industrial policy this will encourage and boost private investment in the above areas of the tourism sector all right highly important so friends that's all for the day now let's go for a quick revision prime minister narendra modi has inaugurated 7600 crore rupees worth railway projects in west bengal Art Park IIC has joined hands with Google to launch AI powered project Vani. Government of India approved Padma as their self regulated body for the publishers. United Nations Security Council has adopted their first ever resolution on Myanmar demanding end to violence and release of political prisoners. TB research funding trends for 2005 to 2021 funding for TB and research and development has hit a billion dollar worldwide in 2020 one but this also needs to be increased in the coming areas to meet the demand what is the target year for india to become tb free it is 2025 punjab and sindh bank has partnered with sbi card to launch co credit credit cards then asian development bank has granted 100 million dollar to sfl for vehicle loans to women entrepreneurs Next IDBI bank has signed an agreement to transfer schemes of IDBI mutual funds to LIC mutual fund Tata AIA Life introduced emerging opportunity fund with ULIPS Bank of Baroda has won the EAG Laureate award on financial security IDBI bank has reappointed Suresh Khatanhar as the deputy managing director for a year all right i repeat IDBI bank has reappointed Suresh Khatanhar as the new or as the deputy managing director for another one year then indian army has appointed lieutenant general arvind walia as the new engineer in chief important next adani group has acquired 27.26% equity stake in ndtv all right for over 600 600 crore rupees preserve winning Japanese architect Arata Isozaki has recently passed away and Pritzker Prize is given in the field of architecture. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's mother Hira Ben has passed away at the age of 100 in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Historian Simon Sibag has discussed or uh, authored a new book that is The World. Then Assam Chief Minister has granted the industry status to the tourism sector of Assam. All right, I repeat for the tourism sector of assam industry status has been granted by the assam chief minister this is one of the most important news for the day so that's all for the day friends now it's time for your homework dr shama prasad mukherjee national institute of water and sanitation has been inaugurated in which state second election commission of india has developed a prototype of remote electronic voting machine for which category of people third which state commences india's first nilgiri tahar project for fifth the indian army has handed over first ever 3d printed house for soldiers at which city so friends these are your important questions and the fifth year is 14th tribal youth exchange program was held in dash location all right consider this as the fourth question and the fifth question is 14th tribal youth exchange program was held where this is also important All right, so these are your five homework question, friends. I hope you have understood the assignment. Now all you have to do is like the video, and if you want us to continue with such sessions in the future, and you have enjoyed the session, all you have to do is comment below and let us know what are your views on such sessions. So, friends, that's all for the day. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for the day, friends. I hope you enjoyed the session, and you can follow us on the. YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is seven six double seven triple three eight six two apart from this friends you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official. In the end, friends, 
if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue